Okay, I'm getting ready to put on my rock boots. I've spent a lot of time diving and I've been a lot of time carrying like tanks, signal tanks, double tanks, trying to walk down paths, carrying them onto boats, etc., etc. And I've always been concerned about ankle support. So what we did was we developed the rock boot. Okay, this is a DUI rock boot. And it's designed for several things. Number one, to give you good solid grip on anything you're walking on. Okay, number two, it gives you good solid ankle support. Okay, it also closes the ankle so that if you get any air in your feet, it prevents your feet from uh, ever coming off your foot so that the, the suit doesn't part and you have your fins up here and your legs down in, or your foot's down inside the leg somewhere. So, I mean, this really solves a lot of divers' problems. Furthermore, if you, be, if you ever wear one of these things out, it costs a lot less money to buy a new pair of rock boots than it does to have new boots put on the end of your suit. Some of the other unique features about DUI rock boots are the fact that, well, number one, when we made them, we made them without a heel. So therefore, you can slide inside your fins and it doesn't hang up on you. Some of the other things we like about the rock boots is the fact that, that, that we, we made the, uh, we, we put a, a cord lock on the laces to, because divers cannot tie uh, 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 laces or, or tie knots with gloves on. Also, there is a little tab here with Velcro on that fits in under here that takes care of storing the, uh, the long laces uh, once you get the boot on. Also, you'll notice that, that the tongue is in, the, in, in, the, in a web so that sand, it, it doesn't eliminate sand, it just makes it more difficult to put on. Now, put in. So therefore, here, what we're gonna do now is, is when I get ready to put this on, I grab the, the, the tongue, pull it out in the open, lo loosen it all the way up, hold it between the, my thumb and, and the, my fingers this way, get a hold of the, of the tab here in the back as a handle, and then I, I put up my foot like this, reach down here, put, put the, the boot on, I pull it all the way down, see, by putting my hand under the heel, reach back here in the back, pull this tab up like so. By the way, when they're wet, they're even easier to put on like this. Then I pull this all the way down, get a hold of the tongue, pull it up, get a hold of the laces, pull them up. Don't, don't have it too tight now. Just have it tight enough. To think of bedroom slippers, not ballet slippers. Bring this all the way down. Take this, bring it all the way around the back. Put it around here, wrap it around. In my case, I like them to come around twice. Put the Velcro underneath it. Put it like so, push it down. Now there you are. Now it's secure for the entire dive. When you come back from the dive and you want to take them off, all you have to do is reach down here again with a glove on, pull this up, pull this out, pull it straight out, it comes loose, reach over here, pull the cord lock up, pull the top of the boot open, put my foot up here, and I can pull it off. 